Hey, how's it going, Daniel? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, I made this video because I wanted you to get an understanding of your position on Google and to see how prospects are finding your businesses because um, you have three three different websites on, on the internet. Um, so I just want to jump straight into the video. As you can see, we're on one of my business pages. Uh, my company is Amp Local. We do SEO marketing, web design, um, PPC management for Google AdWords and lead generation. Okay, and you already kind of know about the lead generation because uh, that's how we started talking. All right, so I'm gonna mention some things in this video that you probably are already heard. Um, you know, you told me about you you have a SEO guy that works across in another country for you. Um, however, I'm local, so I want to share you my side of it here um, and and show you exactly what prospects are looking at and what Google's looking at to for, for your business online here so um, so if I say anything that you may already know just please bear with me I'm gonna cover the basics I want to be as transparent as I possibly can with you all right so 82 percent of the population is on Google um, it's Google is not going anywhere it's the most popular powerful way to extract information from the internet um, so Google has an algorithm um, it's it has 200 determining factors now I'm not going to talk about all of them I'm only going to talk about four of the very most important ones um, but before I get into that I want to share some information with you about you versus your competitors right now all right so you told me you have three um, websites uh, primary towing all roadside towing and towing tech San Diego .com. so I'm mainly going to focus on primary towing because primary towing is actually pulling you the most business and the most traffic to your business right now um, compared to the other two. All right. So I'm going to show you what we can do. This Everything I'm going to show you in this video can be applied to all three of them. And you could actually completely corner and dominate the uh, searches for San Diego with these three websites if we do this correctly. All right. So right now, primary towing is getting you 1.8 thousand SEO clicks per month alright and it looks like you're doing PPC as well which I already know you kinda of told me about um, so you're generating around 630 clicks a month from that alright so but this is what I want to focus on right here your SEO clicks this is something that you're not even paying for I mean you're probably paying for SEO um, but this is what I want to focus on. So your top competitor, which you probably already know, is Angelo's. You probably know Angelo's. You see him all over the place. Um, I mean, from a, someone outside looking in, I would consider him your top competitor. So he's pulling um, nearly triple amount of clicks at 3.8 thousand. Not quite tr three times as many, but well over two, uh, twice as many. So 3.8 thousand. This is just from SEO clicks, okay? So definitely your top competitor in, in my eyes. Um, so how will we naturally find you on Google? All right, so we would type in one of two major keywords um, that is big when it comes to towing companies. It's either towing and the city, which would be San Diego, or towing or tow truck in San Diego and San Diego. Okay, so for towing San Diego, um, Angelo's is number one and primary towing is number five okay and then your one of your other websites I believe this is it here uh, San Diego tech towing.com ranked number nine now if that's not it I, I think that's it but if that's not it and if it's not on the first page it might as well be on, on the 20th page right because if you're not on the first page you're not pulling any traffic I'm gonna show you that in a second um, so then your other what your third website for towing San Diego is actually ranked uh, on the sixth page number 60 right here okay so that's their third website um, and then tow truck San Diego okay that's another major keyword you're actually number one in maps um, and then number one in organic which is phenomenal you're great you're dom you're pretty much almost dominating that search okay and then Angelo's is behind you um, so major keywords that's being used here this so this is your site primary towing so you're pulling over half of your business from tow truck san diego okay which is you're in rank number one um, but then you're only pulling in 25 percent from towing san diego okay so let's look at angelo's he's pulling in half of all of his clicks from towing san diego 
And then he's also getting a major chunk from tow truck in San Diego. So um, tow truck specifically just, that's someone searching, that's someone physically in San Diego that's just punching in tow truck on Google, okay? And Google knows their location and that's why they're giving them the top hit. So we need to focus, this is one thing we're gonna to need to focus on is your keyword research as tow truck on your homepage, okay? And I'm gonna get into that for a sec in a second, all right? So keywords, um, so these searches are specifically for San Diego. I use my keyword planner, you probably know what this is. Um, for towing, for M March last year, got about nine to 10,000 clicks. So definitely for in San Diego, if this is an average per city is about 500 searches a month. So you definitely wanna be on top of that. Also towing service, tow truck, see tow truck is a big one, almost 600. Um, so you definitely want to be at the top of those searches to be getting all those clicks, okay? And then there's many keywords. There's there's tons of keywords, but I'm just focusing on the two that bring in the most traffic. That's tow truck and towing, which you and Angelo's are kind of in the top of, but Angelo's has a little bit more keyword research. That's why he's nearly tripled his SEO clicks um, for the main website, okay? So with all that being said, let me show you what um, another chart here. So if you're ranked number one, um, you're going to get at least 35% of the clicks. Okay, this is maps and organic. So that's a total of 70% of the clicks. Now, if you're running a Google AdWords, that could be potentially 99 to 100% of the clicks, right? Um, so definitely want to be at the top. Um, so for your towing San Diego, you're ranked number five. You're only pulling in maybe 5% of the clicks while Angelo is up there pulling the 35%. But vice versa, for tow truck San Diego, where you're ranked number one, you're the one pulling in all that traffic. Um, and he's pulling in a good chunk of traffic being right behind you, but both of you guys are in maps. So ultimately, Daniel, the goal is to get, I wanna get all three of your websites in the top three of the Google searches. Uh, definitely on the home page, pulling in 91% of all the clicks, but I wanna shoot and own and dominate within the top three for each. Everything I'm about to show you, um, it can be implemented for all three of your websites. And this was gonna incredibly increase your web traffic and you're being gonna, gonna closing way more clients, okay? And you're gonna get to the point where you don't even need to pay for PPC. And I'll talk about PPC in a little bit. Um, so pretty much the reason why I am successful at what I do is because I get I find out who the top competitors are and I, re, I reverse engineer them, find out what they're doing and just do more. And that's how we win, okay? That's how we come out on top. So. Let me talk to you about those four determining factors, okay? We talked about keyword research a lot. Um, so let's talk about authoritative content. So authoritative content, when I go to your home page, do you have 1,000 or 2,000 words of authoritative content relevant to towing in San Diego? Now, whoever built your, your uh, web page does know what keyword research is. I see tow truck and towing San Diego mentioned many times, highlighted and bolded. This is very important. Um, but we're, what we're missing out on is the volume of content on the page. So we want to add, this is probably maybe four to 500 words. We want to double this and even triple it. So we want to get 1,000 or 2,000 words on the home page. This is very important. Whoever did this knew what they were doing, but they kind of they kind of did it halfway. We got to get at least 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page. Okay, and I want to show you what authoritative content looks like. I, I went to Google, I typed in elephant. All right, look what's number one, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is notorious for popping up as number one because of their authoritative content. Look at the amount of content research on this page. It's endless. There's probably 50,000 words about evolution, what, what the elephants eat, where they come from, all that good stuff, right? I'm not gonna sit here and read all that. I just wanna give you an idea of what authoritative content looks like, but definitely, definitely 15, I would say 1500 words at the minimum. We wanna almost triple the amount of content in your homepage of more relevant material, okay? Next, I wanna to talk to you about citations, okay? We also call these business listings. These are so important. Some examples is Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, White Pages, MapQuest, City Search. Foursquare, all this good stuff, all right? When we do them, we have to have our business name, address, and phone number identical, because if not, Google's gonna slap us down. So you have a 73% error rate. So this is definitely affecting your rankings in some of your uh, searches, especially in the maps, okay? Because a lot of the maps, you don't pop up in. Some of them you do, and you're pulling a lot of traffic, but 
to really dominate and uh, get up there with Angelo's, we want to get you in the maps on all the keywords that's being punched in. So, like your address, your address is missing, is messed up here. You're missing. You're not even listed in these. Your name's wrong here. It just it doesn't matter if it's wrong or right. It needs to be consistent, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so all these that you're not listening, there's probably people in there looking for towing companies or, or just for resources. And Google's not taking you serious because you're not listed. So these are the top 50 in the country. We want to get you listed in these, but there's thousands. Okay, and over time, we want to build them out. And so you have hundreds and hundreds underneath your, your belt. Okay, and we want to do this for each of your sites. Okay, so again, I'm going to remind you, everything I'm showing you is for primary towing, which is pulling you the most traffic. The other sites um aren't pulling you that amount of traffic um but this process we can apply it to those as well and then get those ranked high and pull that traffic i just want to nail that home so you understand i'm really i'm not coming to do business with you for one thing i want to come and help your whole business because you have three websites i want to take them all um and, and power as much traffic as i can to your site so, so you can get more and more revenue and more leads next I want to talk to you about the backlinks, okay? These are high quality domains that pretty much reference your site. So say if you had a client, you know, that you went and rescued at the middle of the night, told them, um, thoroughly happy, say they have a website or they write articles or they're a blogger. What happens is they'll actually um, go to that blogger website and then post an article about you and then link your website on there. So anyone reading it can read the article and hit the link to your website. This is great because now you have a new prospect, but most importantly, Google takes this as a vote okay google's a popularity contest whoever has the most votes wins the presidency just like running for president right um so that's all google is these are votes all right so these numbers right here um all the three this is very low let me explain this so referencing domain this is how many websites are referencing your website on the internet and um backlinks means your website was mentioned there's three websites mentioning you you three times that's what that's saying okay Trust flow is the quality of these domains. This is the most important part of this whole thing, okay? So let me show you this chart. This is your trust flow meter, okay? So you have a trust flow of zero, okay? So you have low quality websites mentioned in you, all right? The competitors like Angelo, um, the reason why he's dominating in a lot of the searches, especially in the maps, is because he's got high quality uh, websites, medium and high quality websites. All right. So what's awesome about doing business with me, Daniel, is I have unlimited amounts of uh, publishable uh, websites and uh, backlinks to, to link your website to. Um, I have quite high quality domains that are 25 plus on the trust flow. So they're very, very high quality. All right. Um, I've written, I've made websites and uh, posted articles about every anything you can imagine. I, I mean, I've written articles about uh, the Air Force refueling uh, their C-130s and, uh, you know, the CBs and the Navy rebuilding a school and uh, uh, volunteer um, painting at school. I mean, you name it. I've written so much stuff. I can go on. But it doesn't matter what the website's about as long as it's linking. As long as the backlink is linking to your website that's mentioning a word that's on your home page okay and over time we want to get you in the tens and hundreds of these all right and you will completely dominate again we're going to do this for all three of your websites right the last thing i want to talk to you about is being mobile friendly 60 80 percent of the population is on google on their phone you know on their iphone or android so you got to look great on a phone and google especially looks takes it very serious so for primary towing it is mobile friendly all right i didn't look at the other two um, but I can, if, if, you know, if, if you decide that this is something you want to take serious and do for your business, I make sure I'll do everything I can for all three of your sites and get them a hundred percent. All right. But, um, this one is mobile friendly. So Daniel, that's pretty much it for my SEO analysis. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this again. Um, again, you know, I'm, I'm here to help you. Uh, I really want to bring a lot of value to your business. You have three sites. You have so much potential for San Diego. Um, and we could take over Angelo's very easily, just reverse uh, engineering him and, and doing exactly what I showed you on the video. Um, but this is a solid process. Um, I hope it makes sense for you and your business, and I'd love to uh, uh, get a proposal to you. Actually, I'm, I've already worked on that. I'll probably be getting that to you. I want you to watch the video first. 
Um, but then, you know, hit me back after you're done with the video. Uh, let me know your thoughts, and we'll move forward from there. Thanks again, Daniel. Have a good night.